Good morning, so I'm just getting ready to head outside into the Polestar 2. It's been sat on the drive for a week. I had charged it up to 80% and in this video I'm just going to take a real quick look at the vampire drain. Basically, is it still at 80% after seven days? Okay, so the sun is just coming up. I had a Tesla Model S before this. Um, the Tesla would constantly be kind of phoning home to see what's going on and checking for updates and all sorts of other stuff. And so there will be some vampire drain over time. I think all electric vehicles suffer from this a little bit. But I don't know how well you can see. Again, the car's just been sat here for a week. It's a lockdown. Actually, the brake doesn't look that bad. Actually, um, like I said, I charged it to 80% and now it's just been sat there. So let's uh, open the car and see what it looks like. Still, still 80%. It's definitely been a deep sleep because things are just turning on. Okay, it, it kind of surprises me, it kind of doesn't at the same time. So right now the Polestar 2 doesn't seem to be kind of checking in at night or anything or sitting connected to Wi-Fi. Once it's kind of off, it goes off. It was in a pretty deep sleep, again, because it hasn't been used uh, for a week. Let me just see. No, still loading, um, but also my cell reception hasn't been working either. So. Maybe it's literally doing nothing you can see here. Nice cold antenna. But that was a, a pretty good test, I think. Uh, I will try again in the future, especially with lockdown, not going really many places. But yeah, left for a week. Actually, I guess technically it's not a full seven days because it would have charged at midnight and it's now about seven o'clock in the morning. So close enough. To seven days so if you left it at the airport or something with the Polestar 2 right now it doesn't like you gotta worry too much about vampire drain <laughs> 